So that's where they break it off. I call it the belly button, I don't know, stupid. Do you have a front load washer and it's leaking some water out on the floor like this? Well, if you do, I'm gonna show you how to change the pump because I found that that's what was leaking on mine. I'm Shannon from House Improvements and let's go have a look at it right now. Okay, so we've turned the, we got rid of the dryer altogether, turned the washer around, we put it up on a stand, just for ease of shooting the video, you're, you're not gonna have to do that, in, uh, for most people anyways, but we've got it up just so it's a little easier to shoot the video. So, mine's only accessible from the back side. I've got most of the screws out, there's 11 screws all together in my back, yours could be different. Mine has one single screw at the top in the middle, just kind of as the final screw that this cover slides off of. So let's pull it off. Got rid of the back altogether. So on a front load washer, this is typically what, what you're gonna see. You've got your, your motor housing here for the actual spinning of the drum and everything. Some various plumbing and that. But down under here is what we're really after in our case, and that's the pump. So we'll rearrange the camera, get down at a little lower height so you can see what's going on down there. Okay, so um, this, is, this is the new pump. So this is what we're looking at under here. So this is the piece I'm changing. So here's the new pump. It's orientated like that underneath there. So it's pretty simple. You've got a, a hose fitting here, which is where this hose hooks to and clamp. This gasket, this rubber fitting here, slides up into the tub of the machine, to the drum. And there's one wiring harness in my case. Uh, so pretty basic, three screws to pull it off. Uh, this is your filter housing here. This is something that should be cleaned periodically, probably once a year anyways. Um, you can kind of see how that is. In this case, I was trying to shoot a video on cleaning that filter out and there's so much garbage in there I got the got the this unscrewed to this point and I can't get it out so I'm hoping that once I get the pump out I can shake all that stuff loose and finish the other video but anyways normally this when you take the back off this is going to be closed looking like that unthreaded or th this is tight it's not unthreaded like this <coughs> so kind of your first step once you have the back off would be to slowly unscrew this filter drain. Have a pan under here because it will have some water in it. I didn't have much in because the washer's been sitting for a couple weeks now, so it's probably evaporated some of it. And then you can pull this, this drain out and then uh, remove the three screws. So there's one here, one on the back side of the filter housing and one way over on this side, okay? So like I said, our filter housing's already half out I just can't get it any further because all the crud that's in there it'll be interesting to see what's in there so look for my other video on cleaning your filter uh, so let's unplug the, the, the wiring harness I've got the washer itself unplugged uh, let's just see so that's simple enough there's no safety clip or anything that one this one just unplugs I'm gonna undo the clamp on the hose now there might be some liquid come out of there too so uh, try to do this and not block the whole shot but see if I can do it from over here Okay, no moisture came out of there, no water. Like I said though, mine's been sitting for a couple weeks unused, so. While I'm thinking of it, I, I don't know if the camera's high enough to see. Did I talk about what our issue was? So my pump was leaking. Uh, around on this side, we'll insert a couple pictures, but on, around on, the side of the pump over here, there's a spot just like that. I call it the belly button of plastics. 
This is a spot that uh, from the manufacturer, when they molded this plastic, it was probably hanging off the, the mold that way, right? So that's where they break it off. I call it the belly button, I don't know, stupid. But anyways, on this one, that's where the leak developed, was right in that, the belly button. And uh, we'll insert those pictures so you can see, you can see a rusty spot coming down. Um, I had intended to shoot this video and have the water going and show you it dripping. It was dripping about an ounce in a cycle. So not a lot, but enough that it was showing up on the floor. Um, the reason I couldn't show you it dripping was because before then I had screwed up this filter and I can't, I can't get it in or out. So I couldn't very well fill the unit with water. We would have just had water gushing out of here. So the water was leaking out of the, the belly button and dripping onto this metal pan. I'm not, not sure if the camera's even high enough, but there's a metal pan here on the bottom of the washer. So we'll insert a picture, but you can see how the pan is all stained from, from water there. And there's a few holes in that pan. It's not solid. So eventually, you know, if you did two or three loads in the day, it's two or three ounces, it fills that pan up and eventually runs to one of the holes, runs out on the floor and that's what you seen at the beginning of the video was where it was leaking out onto the floor. So, so that was our issue with this unit. Okay, so we've got the hose unhooked. We've unhooked the uh, wiring harness and there's, there's three screws that look like this. Uh, they were 5 16 to take out of this pump and it should pull down. I've got two of them out. I'm going to take this last one out. I'm not sure honestly if there's going to be any little bit of water or anything come out I'm kind of doubting it but I might slide that pan back in there before I pull the pump right off so really all this is fairly easy to get at a lot easier if you aren't shooting a video and trying to stay out of the way I'll maybe just stick this in here I don't know if any moisture is going to come out or not and uh, everything should be loose oh I'm wrong, there's four. There are four screws. There's one, uh, what did I do with that pump? Here it is. I forgot there's one in this, this arm over here that the electrical's hooked to. So let me quickly get that one out. Okay, so four screws out. Uh, by the way, I got this pump just easily online uh, from a supplier. Um, they shipped it directly to me. I think, I think from this supplier, this pump was like a hundred bucks. Okay, and I'm probably saving just the call for the service guy to come out and do this. It's probably another 200 or $250. So either way, you're paying for the pump. Service guy's probably gonna up chart up price it a little bit to make a bit of money off the pump too plus his labor so you're probably saving at least two hundred dollars doing this yourself oh and I can see there's a ten dollar bill in that filter tray I'm not sure if you focus in there you can see that so it could be interesting to see what's in that tray look for my next video for that so we got the old pump out I'm just gonna look up in here feel up in there make sure there's nothing up in that uh, where this this rubber gasket fits in and it, it feels good there's no burrs or anything I think maybe I'll hook this hose on out here if I can let's see there so I slid the hose right on there's kind of some barbs on this on the fitting but then there's some uh, ribs that stick out and I've got it slid on right to those ribs so it can't go on any further I'm going to reposition the clamp a little better, if I can. I hate these clamps. I mean, they're kind of simple, but they're not all that easy to, to move. So just make sure your clamp looks good all the way around there. See how it isn't really straight on mine? I want to get it more even around there. probably some special tool for these clamps that I've never known about my whole life. 
somebody to comment in the comments about it, but as far as I know, pliers are the thing. There we go. Okay, so I got the clamp sitting nicer on that hose. Just a little easier to maybe even take it off once the pump is loose from the machine. I'm not going to hook up the wiring yet. Uh, I think I can just go ahead and slip this up in there. Just having a look around at that bottom rubber gasket and it looks like it's all right. Uh, I can put my screws back in. Okay, uh, something that's worth noting is those uh, screws are just going into plastic. So you don't want to get too crazy tightening them up. Uh, if you go too far, you're just going to strip it out or crack the housing. If you look here, you just want them to pull that gray pump plastic up snug to the bottom side of your, your uh, washer tub. Okay. So don't expect that you're going to tighten it till it stops or anything like that. Just snug it up. So we've got that there. I'm just going to make sure my filter housing is all the way tight. And the only thing that with this pump when it came, let me just plug this in. When it came, this bracket here that is supposed to hold this plug up in here was broken. And uh, I don't think that's really going to affect anything. I might throw a zip tie around it afterwards. Um, but I think that's going to be fine. So we've got that all back in there. We can uh, turn the washer on, uh, run it, and uh, just check for leaks and that sort of thing. And then we're good to go. Okay, so as you can see, it really wasn't that difficult to do myself. Um, I will say now, having done it, being up on this table, maybe was a little better than laying on my belly and and uh you know trying to see what i was doing but i i think you could could still do this easily with the washer sitting on it on the floor maybe you've got it on one of those stands that they come on with the drawer underneath it doesn't really matter but pretty quick job if i wasn't doing this video i mean that maybe would have took me half an hour by the time i rounded up all the tools and and got at it and now that you've seen it done it should make more sense for you. So, so there wasn't very much I needed. I needed basically a socket to take these screws off the back, a different size socket for the pump, a pair of pliers, and a bowl. That was it. Simple. So uh, like I mentioned a couple times before, go and check out our video on that filter. Let's see what was in there. Uh, we'll put a link in the video description of this video. So look for that. Smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You've subscribed, right? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? It's like right over here. Hit the subscribe button. Okay, so smash the thumbs up, subscribe, like it, share it. See you in the next one. Okay, so on closer inspection here of this old, uh, old pump, remember how I said it was the belly button that leaked? I was wrong. When I, when I got this out and got really looking, here's the belly button. It looks good. Here's the leak. So then I was like, well, what, you know, what's going on? Well, here's all the stuff that came out of this filter once we finally got the filter out. Screws, uh, driver bits that are basically eroded right down to a point. Got looking a little closer, looking inside, and I'm like, I don't know, there's, something's funny about this. Got looking at this tray in the original one, got looking at the new tray. Look at this cutout here. And it isn't on the other one. And I realized, you know what? A bunch of this crap was sitting here vibrating around over the years and it wore out this groove here. And I think that's what actually eventually poked through the back of the pump. Because it's actually a, there's actually a lip there. Like it's, it's, it's an outer outer push or an inner push from the inside and I doubt you'll be able to tell
but you can almost see a wear mark inside there around that hole too where stuff was just sitting there jostling around all these years every cycle until something finally wore through so user error wasn't the belly button wasn't the manufacturer that was uh, me not cleaning the filter not knowing there was a filter so I think uh, that was worth mentioning I was wrong but we did find the root cause check yours out and clean it